Good morning. My name is Jeff Sayak, and I'm the Public Health Director with Boulder County Public Health. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm, I'm joined here today with my medical officer, Dr. Chris Urbina, with our two school superintendents, so First St. Rain Valley School District, Dr. Don Haddad, uh, Dr. Rob Anderson with Boulder Valley School District, as well as a couple folks from my staff, Lisa Whittakin, who's our Communicable Disease uh, and Emergency Management Manager, as well as Carol Helwig, who's our epidemiologist. We appreciate people taking time today to listen in on this. As you've likely heard, yesterday we were notified by our partners at Tri-County Health Department that a person had tested positive for COVID-19, spent time in Boulder County while they were ill. We're conducting a thorough disease investigation and are working closely with our partners at CU who have been long-term great partners with us. Given this change, the fact that we've seen such a large and rapid increase in positive COVID-19 tests in Colorado and an increase in positive tests in the Denver metro region, the capacity concerns that we're beginning to hear from our providers' offices and our healthcare systems, and that we believe that the vi virus is already circulating in our community are reasons we've made this decision to begin implementing our community mitigation measures. This means that all of us together must actively take steps to protect each other from further spreading the virus. We must all commit to, most importantly, staying at home when you're sick. That is the number one way to prevent the spread of this disease. Staying more than six feet away from each other. Do not attend large gatherings. Regularly washing our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Coughing and sneezing into our arm or a tissue or washing our hands using an alcohol-based solution. Not touching our face. I was amazed to hear that we, on average, touch our faces up to 90 times a day. So think about that, that's a lot. We wanna make sure that we're focusing on making sure our hands are clean, we're not touching our face, and we are doing what we can to prevent the spread of this disease. We also wanna focus on making sure we're cleaning frequently touched items, like doorknobs and keyboards. As we know from the Centers for Disease Control guidance, as the virus spreads, we need to further reduce our actions in order to slow the spread of this virus. We need to protect our most vulnerable and to make sure our, our healthcare systems do not get overwhelmed. On a community level, it's critical that we take prevention measures like communal, community social distancing. One of the steps is to temporarily close schools. Last night, in partnership with St. Vrain and Boulder Valley School Districts, I made a strong recommendation and we together decided that we would close schools for at least two weeks. One of those weeks is spring break. Together, I will work with the school districts to, com to continue to watch the virus spread in the community as we near the end of that period and we will make decisions together as to whether we will reopen the schools. Although early data suggests that children are only affected mildly by COVID-19, they play a significant role in the transmission of this disease. In addition, Centers for Disease Control suggests that closing schools and large gatherings early in a community's transmission can have a significant impact in reducing the spread and number of cases with this disease. Dr. Chris Urbina, our medical officer, will be able to answer more questions about how this strategy works but before I turn it over to him, I'd like to offer uh, either of our superintendents to, to make any comments at this point, Don or Rob. Thanks, Jeff. I just wanted to take this opportunity to, to compliment and thank Boulder County Public Health. Um, they've been incredible partners for both Don and I, um, um, St. Fran and Boulder Valley Schools. Um, in the face of a crisis, it's critical um, that you have accurate and clear information and communication. Um, and we got just that from Boulder, um, Boulder Public Health. So we really appreciate that and just wanted to take this opportunity to thank them for that. Yes, I would like to also thank Boulder County Health for their strong partnership. And I'd like to thank our entire community for their support, our teachers, our students, our staff, got a lot of really, really dedicated people working on this, and our top priority is to promote the safety and well-being of all of our community. So thank you, and we'd be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks. 
I also want to uh, do one more thank you. I want to thank our healthcare partners in our communities. This virus, as we can all see in the media, has significant impacts and is changing very quickly. And many, many partners, many people in our communities are reacting very quickly and doing a lot of work for a lot of hours to try to contain the spread of this virus. So I want to thank all of our healthcare partners. I want to thank all of the staff across local public health agencies and the state health agency for, for reacting very quickly to try to control the spread of the disease. And at this